टू ऑफ डगलस वॉज ऑल फ्यूटाइल ए सेट आई स्टार्टेड डाउन अ थर्ड टाइम आई सक्ड फॉर एयर एंड गॉट वॉटर द येलोइश लाइट वॉज गोइंग आउट एंड देन ऑल एफर्ट सीज थर्ड टाइम वेन यू वॉज गोइंग डाउन ही स्टॉप्ड मेकिंग ऑल द एफर्ट्स ए सेट आई रिलैक्सड इवन माई लेग्स फेल्ट लिम्प एंड अ ब्लैकनेस रेप्ट ओवर माई ब्रेन ए सेट माई ब्रेन स्टॉप्ड वर्किंग देर वॉज अ ब्लैकनेस this blackness it wiped out fear it wiped out terror there was no more panic it was quiet and peaceful nothing to be afraid of this is nice to be drowsy to go to sleep no need to jump too tired to jump it's nice to be carried gently to float along in space tender arms around me tender arms like mothers now i must go to sleep So in a nutshell when douglas made a third attempt to come out of the water surprisingly he felt quite relaxed a blackness swept over his brain and he stopped to making all the efforts all of a sudden it appeared that he was in the tender arms of the mother he said i crossed to oblivion oblivion is a state of forgetfulness he said i forgot almost everything and the curtain of life fell curtain of life fell mean my end was quite near the next i remember i was lying on my stomach beside the pool vomiting he said i did not know what happened next what i remember was that i was lying up. on my stomach beside the pool i was vomiting the chap the boy that threw me in the water he was saying but i was only fooling someone said that the kid nearly died be all right now let's carry him to the locker room so douglas was out of the pool somebody had taken him out of the pool he was lying on his stomach he was vomiting and somebody carried him to the locker room locker room is a place where the costume is changed several hours later i walked home i was weak and trembling i shook and cried when i lay on my bed i could not eat that night for days a haunting fear it was in my heart the slightest exertion upset me making me wobbly making me shaky shaky in the knees and sick to my stomach the immediate impact of the misadventure was that douglas could not eat anything that night there was a haunting fear in his heart the slightest exertion would upset him making him shaky in the knees he could not even get up and he was sick to the stomach he said i never went back to the pool i feared water i avoided water whenever i could so this is all about the misadventure and its impact on douglas that after the misadventure he never went back to the pool he feared water and he avoided water whenever he could now next starts the third phase It was a few years later when I came to know the water of the cascades the water of the waterfalls so now douglas was mature he was an adult he came to know about the waters of the waterfall he said i wanted to get into them and whenever i did i tried going near the water whether i was wading in the titan or the bumping river or bathing in warm lake of the goat rakes the terror that had seized me that had captured me in the pool it would come back douglas says as an adult whenever i tried going near any water body the terror of water it would have a firm grip over me it would take possession of me completely and my legs would become paralyzed i see horror would grab my heart this handicap this fear of water it stayed with me as the years rolled by in canoes in the smaller boats on main lakes fishing for land logged salmon it is a fish or bass fishing in new hampshire trout fishing on the deschutes and melot and metolius in oregon 
Fishing for salmon on the Columbia at Bumping Lake in the Cascades, wherever I, want, I went, the haunting fear of the water followed me. It ruined my fishing trips. It deprived me of the joy of canoeing, boating and swimming. So, Douglas, whenever he tried going near any water body for any purpose, he was simply fear-stricken. He said his water fear, it deprived him of the joy of boating, canoeing and swimming. It simply ruined his fishing trips. He could not enjoy any of the water sports or any activity that could be done in the water because of his firm fear of water.